Hi, thanks for watching my demo player how-to videos. In this video, we're gonna go over a quick setup for using the third-person blueprint template. So let's get started. I've already got a clean install. What you wanna do is go ahead and hit edit and go to plugins and then go ahead and enable that plugin. If you look under the category other, you'll see demo player with VR spectate support, hit enable and go ahead and instead of restarting it, let's go ahead and just close it down all the way. And then what we wanna do is go to the, um, our library icon, right click or the folder, show in folder, and then go to the config file and then open up the default engine on, in your local text editor. I prefer Notepad++. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a space here. Go back to the U YouTube video that we are watching right now and then co copy and paste this a little snippet here. This is what we need to copy in there. So instead of typing it all out and I will paste it here. And there we go. That's the net definition. Basically, it's the uh, network driver to record the information being sent over the network. It's just a, a dummy network connection. So we'll go ahead and save that and go ahead and start up your demo player install, your project. And then from here, we'll go ahead and install the other classes that we need to. We need to do the game instance first and then also the replace spectator, the game state, player state, and go from there to install the uh, menus. So we'll do that pretty quickly. If you need more information about each one of these individually, there are videos uh, per, on the YouTube playlist that I do provide. So I'll go ahead and uh, we wanna make sure we do have our plug installed. If you look over here in the content, you can scroll down, there's demo player. If that does not show up, you need to look in here under view options, make sure that engine and plugin content is selected. So I can see that it is. I'll go ahead and go up to the top here. Let's go ahead and start making a first blueprint. Uh, I created a folder called blueprints. You can go ahead and do that too. I'm gonna ahead and create a game instance class. So we'll go ahead and, and do a blueprint and then we'll do game instance and then we'll use demo player game instance as the parent class, select it, call GI underscore replay. We'll set that, we'll go to edit, we'll go to uh, project settings. In the very top you have the maps and modes and we'll go to the bottom to the game instance class. We'll change that to the one we just created called GI underscore replay. And then we'll go ahead and go to the next thing we need to make, which is the replay spectator. So if we right click and do the same thing again, we'll go to um, PC demo spectator. That is the blueprint class we want to use for that. All right. Now that can, holds all your controls. That's the uh, player control that you'll be driving around during the uh, uh, replay itself. So we'll go ahead and click on that and hit select. And we'll go ahead and call this um, replay. There we go. Yeah, spectator. That's pretty clear. And if you do open this up, there are some settings you can change in here. This is, um, if you go over to demo settings, we can see the different playback speeds that we can change by moving the mouse wheel by default in our default playback speed. We'll go ahead and close that out. And what we need to do is assign that. We need to have a game mode first to assign that to. So in a new level like this, we'll just go ahead and create blueprint class and we'll go ahead and hit game mode base is fine. And GM game replay. All right, so we'll open this up and underneath here, we'll go ahead and change the replay spectator player controller class. We'll change that to the one we just made, which is PC replay spectator. There we go. Save that. And we'll move, it to, move this to the side right here or tap it over here. And what we need to do is set this world up to have this game mode. So we'll click on this and then we'll click on the world settings. If the world settings tab is not here, you can click here to the settings and uh, hit world and then it'll pop it up. And the game mode <clears throat> override that we have, we want to set that to the one we just created, the game mode, game replay, and save everything. There we go. Now we got that set. Now it's the next thing we're going to set up is the game state. So we'll go ahead and right click and do another blueprint class and we'll do game state, but we want to use demo player game state, hit select, and we'll call it GS replay. And in this one, we can open that up for a couple options. We can go to demo settings and auto record server. And now we'll have that because we're just doing a single player game here. You can also do auto record with clients so everybody can record on their own. So we'll go ahead and leave it as default from here. And we need to set that also in the uh, game mode. So we'll go ahead and click on the game mode, open it up, and we will set the game state class, the one we just created, the game state replay, save that. And then we'll go ahead and set up the next class we need to, which is the player state. So we'll go ahead and hit blueprint class and then player state and use demo player state and select that. 
and call this PS and replay. Okay. All right, so now the same thing we did for, uh, basically there's no options here. There's some things that go on under the hood, so there's nothing really we need to set in there. To just need to use that as our base class. Go back to the game mode and change the uh, player state class here to the one we just created, which was the PS replay. All right, close that. And then the last class we need to make here is the, uh, um, actually that's the all we need to create was the player state, the replay spectator, the game state, and game mode. Yes, that's everything we need to do. And technically, you wouldn't have to create this blueprint. You could just go ahead and go into the game mode here and set this to, um, since there was actually no options into it, we don't actually have to create that blueprint. We could just go demo, demo player state, and we'll just do it that way. So that works also. If you wanted to use uh, variables for a player state, you could do it here too. So we'll go ahead and delete that out. We don't actually need that. All right, so basically that's the... Uh, everything you need to get going on the demo player. Save all. All right, now we need to go ahead and get the, the menus to show up so we know we have replays. So we have the replays under hood going, now we need some kind of menu system. So let's go ahead and create a player controller to do that. So we'll create a player controller to use actually in the game and not the replay itself. So we'll right click and hit new blueprint class and we'll hit uh, player controller and we'll call this one PC game. All right, and then same as before, we need to go ahead and open the game mode up and set that as the uh, default player controller, which was the PC game, and save so we're all hooked up, ready to go. And then on here, we can go ahead and start doing that. All right, so we need to go ahead and get the menu created. We'll go ahead and go to the event graph of the PC game, and then and begin play, we'll want to go ahead and create a widget. So we'll go ahead and right click and create widget. And we'll do of class uh, demo list. So I'll do uh, list and UMG demo list. Click that. And then I'll go ahead and get a self reference. By default, you does get itself from, uh, from below. Uh, I want to go ahead and the return value, I want to store it as a variable. So from a variable UI replay browser. And then what I can do is go ahead and tie this back together and add to viewport, viewport. Oh, I don't want to connect it here. I want to actually grab another copy of it off for the branching that we're going to do to it before then. Add to viewport and then set input mode, set to UI only right here and we'll go ahead and um, have it focus on this widget and do it as default and also do it as self reference to the top right here and then we'll go back to the very beginning here so the event begin play we want to go ahead and pull this out and hit get and then right click it convert to validate and get and if it is not valid we want to go ahead and create it and then if it is, go ahead and move forward here. And then we can go ahead and tidy things up. And then that's pretty much all we need. Uh, we do need a way to bring it up, though, if it's already closed. So let's go ahead, because we're gonna, uh, by begin play, we're going to have it open automatically. So let's go ahead and get a, uh, a key to do it. I'll just like B for some reason. So we'll go to a key. I'll type in key. And then B. Let's see here. Right. Here. All right, and then um, first thing we need to do is check if it is already being visible. So we'll grab another one, control that, and then it is visible. And if it is branch, if it isn't, we want to go ahead and turn it on. But once you press it, and then if it is not visible, we'll go ahead and uh, we want to pipe it in down here. So we'll go ahead and do it here. Technically, I guess uh, since the replay browser should have the is valid check here, so we'll have to be aware of that. So you can change the logic a little bit, but uh, so we could actually just go straight to here since we assume it's already created at this point. Uh, so this is actually better this way. All right, um, let's go ahead and test this out. Hit save. Let's see if this actually does work or not. And we'll go ahead and hit play. And it worked perfectly. So 
there's a reason why it didn't work. So we'll hit escape, get out of this. And what we need to do is we need to go back to it. I wanted to sh cut. So there's a reason why this did not work and I wanted to point this out. So we'll go ahead and exit out hit escape. And we need to go back to our game mode. And what's important here is that we actually parent parented this to a game mode base, which is a problem that you can run into. We need to actually have the game mode, which triggers the event begin play uh, for the player controllers, which is a big important piece here. So we go ahead and go to file and click on reparent blueprint. And then underneath there, what we can do is type in a game mode and we see there's the game mode class there and then reparent it, save it, save it. And let's test it one more time, hit play. Boom, there it is. All of a sudden we have a replay browser popping up. We have no replays because there's none we've done so far. So we'll go ahead and hit back and we'll start playing around. Now, currently uh, it's not recording anything because we're inside a Pi. So if we weren't, it would be recording. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's escape and close down the demo player. All right, so we'll go ahead and right click and go to show in folder. And then what we want to do is right click and hit launch game. And once we're in the launch game, uh, it'll actually allow the demo net driver to turn on the multiplayer features to, to work, etc. So once we come in, we, again, we have no replays uh, happening. We'll hit back and we'll start playing around. And then uh, automatically, since we set auto record on as one of the options we set up earlier, it's actually recording right now. If I hit B, you can see that we're live. It's actually recording it live. We see that the, we've already got 14 seconds of uh, footage. If I hit uh, back and continue on, it'll re keep uh, recording that replay for the replay. And then uh, I think at this point, it's probably good. We'll go ahead and hit B again and bring it back up. And then let's go ahead and just load up that replay. So we'll just click on it. If we click on it with our mouse, it'll actually bring it up. And then we can uh, have our options deposit here and move scrub the timeline. Hit tab to fly around. We'll go ahead and hit here hit tab and then hit play. And as you can see, it's already moving here and play again. And don't double click it. <laughs> see our guys flying around. We can move this out of the way. There you have it. We'll go ahead and slow it down, slow motion and pause it even and get to a nice screenshot and screenshot it. There you go. Screenshot taken. So there you have it. Uh, if we go ahead and hit stop, we'll exit out. And it'll actually take us back into uh, the third person first map. And you see the old replay. It's no longer live. Go back. It's actually started recording the next replay for the next time we're, we're playing here. Hit B. You can see it playing this one here. And what we'll actually do is go ahead and just exit the game. So we'll go back and we'll just type in quit. Uh, what I want to show you is the replays are saved in the save directory. And then there are demos. And here you can see the two um, replays that we've already done. So there you have it. If you have any problems or questions, feel free to leave them below in the, in the comments or join us in our Discord channel uh, and we, I can help you more real time that way. Again, thanks again for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.